The drama involving Christian Horner and Red Bull Racing's internal investigation keeps unfolding, with recent developments suggesting things might intensify. The Telegraph, a Dutch publication, was the first to break the news of Horner's alleged controlling and inappropriate behaviour on February 5th. Now there's talk courtesy of F1 Insider that this whole situation could be taking a serious turn towards legal action, adding a new layer to the ongoing saga. Barely a day had passed since Christian Horner, the man who's headed Red Bull's racing operations since 2005, stood confidently at the RB20 launch, exuding a sense of business as usual, despite the swirling maelstrom of allegations when the same Dutch publication dropped another bombshell. The Telegraph has now unearthed a series of WhatsApp messages exchanged between Horner and a female Red Bull employee unveiling a disturbing pattern of sexually suggestive communications that spanned a significant period. This revelation casts a long shadow, suggesting that Horner's actions may go beyond mere professional misconduct, veering into a realm of more serious personal indiscretions. The investigative lens now firmly focuses on these messages, hinting at a deeper, more systemic issue that surpasses questions of Horner's leadership style or team interactions. This shift in the narrative implies that the ramifications could be more severe than initially anticipated. Following the investigation's commencement, De Telegraph alleges that Horner sought to silence the emerging scandal with a substantial payout of $650,000, approximately $760,000. This offer, reportedly extended by Horner's legal team to the complainant's representative, suggests an attempt to suppress the complaints quietly. The incriminating messages, carefully documented, were reported to Red Bull GmbH's compliance unit in Fuchsel towards the end of 2023 prompting an investigation by an independent legal investigator. However, the resolution seems far from close. F1 Insider's latest reports indicate that the evidence in Day Telegraph's possession, including photos, emails and text messages, might be substantial enough to categorise the allegations as sexual harassment in the workplace, as defined by the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission (EEOC). For context, sexual harassment in the workplace, as defined by the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission (EEOC), includes unwelcome sexual advances, requests for sexual favours and other verbal or physical harassment of a sexual nature in the workplace or learning environment. The situation has taken a significant turn, with the involved employee currently on sick leave and whose identity remains confidential, reportedly deciding to pursue legal action in England. The offer of $650,000 from Horner for an out-of-court settlement was apparently turned down, leading to the initiation of legal proceedings. F1Insider.com has unveiled a developing rift within the Red Bull conglomerate, shedding light on a burgeoning power vacuum. The Uvidya family from Thailand, headed by Chalam Uvidya, son of Red Bull's co-founder Chaleo, holds a majority stake of 51% and is staunchly backing Christian Horner, resisting calls for his suspension or dismissal. Complicating matters further is the internal investigation that took place last Friday, executed by an attorney perceived as independent, yet seemingly selected by the Thai faction. This lawyer conducted extensive eight-hour interviews with both Horner and the involved employee, promising a conclusive report thereafter. However, the anticipated document failed to reach Red Bull's Austrian headquarters. In an unexpected twist, the lawyer opted for a vacation, rendering himself unreachable and sparking speculation within Red Bull about a conscious disappearance. This has sparked frustration and disappointment in Austria, where alleys of Mark Mateskitz, the 49% stakeholder and successor to the company's later co-founder Dietrich Mateskitz, are apprehensive. Unlike his father, Mark is not known to be the biggest fan of Horner and reportedly wants to bring racing operations back to Austria instead of their HQ in Milton Keynes. This sentiment is also reportedly backed by Red Bull's managing director Oliver Mintzlaff, who according to The Times might also be a running contender for team principal if Horner were to be removed. All of this internal conflict has led experts to speculate that this Horner Gatte could potentially fracture the foundations of the Salzburg-based beverage company. While Red Bull's internal investigation is still underway, with no definitive conclusions reached even after an extensive discussion with an external legal counsel, there have been unconfirmed reports that findings will be made public in the coming week. As the drama unfolds in the Red Bull camp, Formula One has now also broken its silence, putting out their thoughts with a short statement on Sunday. 
We have noted Red Bull has instigated an independent investigation into internal allegations at Red Bull Racing. We hope the matter will be clarified at the earliest opportunity after a fair and thorough process. We will not comment further at this time, said an F1 spokesman. The FIA has also recently put out a statement along the same lines, saying, in relation to the independent investigation currently being undertaken by Red Bull GmbH, the FIA reiterates that until such time as the investigation has concluded and the outcome is known, we will not be commenting further. Amid this backdrop, the much-anticipated partnership between Red Bull Racing and Ford with the latter set to power Red Bull's engines from 2026 finds itself in murky waters. The allegations led David against Horner have stirred the pot, leading to speculation that Ford might hit the brakes on their collaboration. Ford, a titan in the auto industry with a $49 billion valuation, is on the cusp of a major foray into Formula One with Red Bull powertrains. Yet the current controversy has forced Ford to reconsider their partnership with the Milton Keynes outfit. Mark Rushbrook, the global head of Ford Performance Motorsport, didn't mince words at Daytona International Speedway, highlighting Ford's high bar for behavior and integrity. As a family company that holds itself to very high standards of behavior and integrity, we expect the same from our partners, it appears to us. And what we've been told was that Red Bull is taking the situation very seriously. And of course, they are worried about their brand as well. And that's why they've got an independent investigation. And until we see what truth comes out of that, it is too early for us to comment on it all. But despite all the chaos and turmoil, Horner and Red Bull seem like they want to block out all of that noise and focus all of their attention on coming out or guns blazing on the opening race of the 2024 season, set to take place in Bahrain on March 2nd. At the RB20's launch event, the veteran team principal made it a point to shift the focus of the press away from the investigation and toward Adrian Newey's third evolution of their 2022 masterpiece. Yes, I will be in Bahrain. The process has been going on in the background. Obviously, there's been a day job to be getting on with, which is gearing up for the season ahead of us. I have a hugely supportive family, a very supportive wife. I have felt the support from within the business and our partners and the support from within the industry has been overwhelming too. Horner also shut down any questions and rumours of there being a rift within the team between him and his drivers, or even with personalities, Jos Verstappen, whom he is rumoured to have a badly damaged relationship with. No, that's not correct, Horner clarified. I was with Jos and Max a few days ago at Silverstone. Max is fully focused on his job and he is very supportive. At the launch event, Max himself spoke about his relationship with Horner. We've seen each other quite a few times. We've achieved a lot of things together, so that doesn't change suddenly, he said. My contact with Christian has been the same as on the first day. It's been like normal. Speaking to other media outlets at the event, Max said, it's the same as always, I can tell you that. I don't know who likes to write these things, but to me, Christian is like always. From my side, I am very focused on my own performance to get ready, to be fit, to be ready to drive the car, to be discussing things with the engineers, what you want to do, he said. Plus, my life is not only F1. When I'm at home, I prefer not to think about F1 too much outside of my scheduled training. There are a lot of things going on in the background for me also. What I want to do in the future, also from the virtual side of things that I'm working on. So I'm one, I'm busy enough at home. As the clock ticks down to the start of pre-season testing on Wednesday, Red Bull Racing finds itself in a race against time. So what do you think about these new allegations? Do you think Horner should step down or fight these charges to the end? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest F1 news.